Alright, so we have the limit as n approaches infinity of 5 to the power n plus 7 n plus 9 to the power n. Alright. But I would like us to solve the second one, but you let's first solve the first one. So looking at this, from Swiss property, we know that if a to the power n less than from Swiss property, we know that you have this less than or equal to c of n. And you take the limit as n approaches infinity of the a of n and you get less than l. And you take the limit as n approaches infinity of c of n and you also get l. Then you can say that n approach infinity of the b of n will be also be equal to what? L. Alright. So we have established this already. So now we are going straight to solve this first thing. Alright? Very good. So we start. Now, we start by defining our A of n, our B of n, and our C of n. So let's look at how we are going to define that. Very good. So here, the A of n, watch. The A of n is going to be the greatest value here. What is the greatest value here? No, you should be able to know that it's 5 n, 9 to the power of n. So that will be the greatest value, 9 to the power of n. Then you break the power. Then you define your B of n. Your B of n will be everything there, which is 5 raised to the power of n plus 7 raised to the power of n plus 9 raised to the power of n over 1 over n. Then lastly, you define the C of n. Now, the C of n is also going to be exactly how many terms do we have here? One, two, three. So we have three terms. So we are going to repeat this greater value n times, sorry, three times. So we have plus, 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 all to the power of one over n. I hope it's clear now. So that will be your A of n, B of n, and C of n. So by substitution to this, we know that A of n is 9 raised to the power n or 1 over n less than or equal to B of n 9 raised to the power n plus 9 raised to the power n plus 9 raised to the power n 1 over n less than or equal to C of n and that is what we have here. Oh, the space is too small. 9 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n all to the power 1 over n. Oh, I hope you can see from there. 1 9 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n. Please repeat everything here. There. Yeah. Alright. So, having this. Oh. There is a small mistake here. The B of n is rather this. 5 raised to the n plus 7 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n for 1 over n, less than or equal to. Then the C of n, 9 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n, all the power 1 over n. Very good. So now having this, we can know that, or we can see that this will cancel this. So we get 9 less than or equal to. Don't touch the inside. Because that's exactly what you want to define. Plus 7 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n, 1 over n, less than or equal to. Now looking at the inside here, you can see that we can factor 9 raised to the n out. One plus one plus one. All to the power one over n. Sorry for that. Bring with the 1 over n. So here you get 9 less than or equal to 5 raised to the n, 7 raised to the n, 9 raised to the n, all to the power 1 over n, less than or equal to. Here, 
we can write this as 9 raised to the n, the whole of this is 3, then 1 power n. Very good. We continue. Repeat. Now, the power of the is the same time as this. So we are going to get 9 raised to the n power 1 over n times 3 power 1 over n. And we get 9 less than or equal to. Hope you can see from there. Then, 5 raised to the n plus 3 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n. 1 over n less than or equal to this cancel that so we get 9 times 3 raised to the power 1 over n. So from here now it's simplified. So what we do is that we take the limit of the left hand side, the limit of the left hand side and the limit of the right hand side and see if it's going to be the same as that. Alright. So hope I can clean it now. Very good. So we take the limit of the left hand side and which is 9. And we know that the limit of a constant is the same as the constant. So this is 9 from your three calculus or your calculus 1. So this is 9. And here we are going to take the limit. The limit as n approaches infinity of the right hand side, which is 9, 3 raised to the power 1 over n. And we know that to take the limit of this, you can plot out the constant to get this. We can plot out the constant to get this. And with this, we can also write this as. 3, then the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n. And you know that the whole of this will go at 0. So we have 9 multiplied by 3 is equal 0. So this is exactly 9. So we can see that on the left hand side we have 9. On the right hand side we have 9. Then we can conclude. Therefore, the limit as n approaches infinity of 5 raised to the n plus 3 raised to the n plus 9 raised to the n for 1 over n is equal to is, is also equal to 9. So we have done with the evaluation of such question. Please, I hope it's not difficult. Just take your time. You write your a of n, your b of n, your c of n. You factor this out. That is very good, very good, very good, and that and that. And what I said is that to choose the A of N, you change the greatest value. 5, 7, 9. It's 9. So 9 is 1 N, not for us, 1 to the N. So that would be N. Then you repeat the same value three times, alright? Then, or the same relation. Repeat it three times, and we get that. Very good. Second question, and I'm sure the second question you will be able to solve it. You should be able to solve it. Now, on the second question, what do you think A of N will be? Yeah, tell me. The A of n is going to be the greatest one, which is 11 to the power n. We know the B of n is emitting. C of n is repeating this. How many times? 1, 2, so, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, 1 over n. Don't forget 1 over n. Then, we know that we are going to get 11 to the power n, 1 over n, less than or equal to. The whole of the question. 1 over n less than or equal to this. 11 to the power n plus 11 to the power n. I'm sure you are summing it. 
Try your hands on it, don't wait for my own. So with this, you get them to the poor end, that's why the poor end, the poor end, the poor end, the next time you call that, then you get them to the poor end, one plus one, one over n. That is when you factor out the level to the power n. That's, that's what you're going to get. So, we move on in the simplification. Keep on simplifying it. And we are going to get level less than or equal to level raised to the power n plus 5 raised to the power n, 1 to the n less than or equal to. Let me raise for n to 1 over n. So let me let them be equal to let me raise for n plus 5 raise for n, 1 over n, let them be equal to. We have two times. But don't forget, it will affect this one. 1 to 4 n. Then this one we get 11 for n, 1 over n. Alright. So we get this. Repeat. So here we get 11 multiplying 2 raised to the power 1 over n. And we know that when we take the limit as n approaches infinity of the left hand side, we are going to get the same as the constant. And when we take the limit as n approaches infinity of 11 to 1 over n, surely and simply this goes to zero. Alright, as n approaches infinity. And that we get 11. Therefore, we can say that the limit as n approaches infinity of 11 n plus 5 to the power n 1 over n is also going to be equal to 11. Very good. So that is the final answer. That's going to be the final answer. I hope it is easy as that. But I want you to notice something. If the greatest value is 11, the result is 11. And then the other one, the first one, the greatest value was what? 9. And our answer, we have that to, uh, we have that to what? 9. Very good. So, that is just telling you, that is just telling you something. I hope it's clear. Very good. Because if you have an OBJ question, like this, you don't need to work it. Simple know that that's how to them. The third question, I would like you to go and try on the third question. But you see, it's not in the form as the previous example that we have solved. But I would like you to go and try it on your own. It's not difficult. You know your easy that if you have the raised to the power b, and here it's negative. Now, if you want to change it to positive power, this, you take the inverse of it. So the B will come on top, then the A will come down. In the same way, in the same way, having this, you are going to get the limit as n approaches infinity of when this term, we are making it here positive. So this one will tear, okay? So we get 7 to the power n plus 9 to the power n plus 12 to the power n. Then you work as such, alright? So, I would like you to continue on this and see what you are going to get. But don't forget that your final answer is supposed to be what? 12. Because that is the greatest value in all of this. Is that clear? Very good! See you in our next video.